Good news on the Democrats. Uh, they're out ready to kick some ass. Pat Leahy uh, says, that's it. I'm, you know, when we get in, we're going to do some real oversight of the FBI. We're going to bring in a couple of lead if, pipes. If they get in. Well, that's a whole other story. But uh, if Joe Lieberman doesn't stop him, let alone the situation with Tim Johnson. Uh, we're going to do some real oversight of the FBI. We're going to go in there with a couple of lead pipes and a couple of homeboys and uh, f figure out uh, you know, what they're doing with this wiretapping program, how it's theoretically kept us safe, wh uh, who they're wiretapping, who are you listening in on. Enough of this nonsense of not answering questions. And he says, you know what? First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to call Alberta Gonzalez soon, and guess what? He's going to have to swear under oath. None of this Republican, oh, no, that's okay, you don't have to swear under oath because we trust you so much because you've only broken 17 laws so far. So, Pat Leahy, you go get him. You go get him. You go forward. Now, the House is considering an independent ethics panel. This is really positive, where they say we're not going to do the ethics ourselves, not the Democrats, not the Republicans, not a bipartisan panel. We're going to bring you to an independent outside group. That's what all ethics reform uh, lobby and, and the people that are interested in that and the interest groups, that's what they all want because these guys obviously cannot control themselves. So on that note, Nancy Pelosi. You go get them. You go get them, okay? Now, I don't know if it'll finally pass. They've had trouble passing this in the past, but I, I hope it does. It's definitely the right thing to do. By the way, we neglected to mention the great bipartisan ethics panel got together on that Mark Foley scandal after the election and said, Oh, yeah, they were grossly negligent, the Republican uh, leadership. They should have uh, made sure that they had Mark Foley under control because they knew all along. Uh, but they broke no rules, no laws, no nothing. There will be no punishment. Uh, you see how we're all happy-go-lucky. Hey, let's play ass slap. Woo, I slap my ass, you slap my ass. Woo, -hoo -hoo, we're having so much fun. That's why you need independent ethics uh, people, because these guys, they're not going to do it. They're never going to do it. Oh, he went after little boys, and you tried to seduce them, and after they became 18, you had sex with them. Slap your ass. Ah, you're it. You're it. You were negligent. No punishment. Enjoy. A lot of ass slapping there. Yeah. Um, so, next story. He even had somebody slapping his own ass. I believe so. I believe so. Because that's how that's my I'm give I'm given understanding that's what happens in Congress. <laughs> now, Democrats plan to take control of Iraq spending. <laughs> you go get him. You go get him. Okay, now what, of course this is only a half a Hasikta Bakduhuga because uh, here they say, Well, we're not gonna cut off the funding because that would, you know, be bad politics. God forbid we should stop a war that's out of control and not working in any way, shape, or form, and has absolutely no hope of working. But what they're saying is, hey, listen, you're going to have to bring this thing in here and explain to us what the hell you're spending the money on, and you're going to have to bring it within the normal budgetary process. Because right now they do it completely outside yeah. the budget. Bush goes, see, I kind of reduced how gigantic the deficit was. Yeah, that's because you had $400 billion sitting outside the budget it's being spent on Iraq and Afghanistan. Now you leave out the wars. <laughs> yeah. Well, who could have seen those coming? We're already fighting them. We're four years into the war, and what the Democrats are saying is, we see them coming. They we're four years into it. Put it in the normal budgetary process. What drives me crazy is at the end of the New York Times article is, they say, well, the Democrats could have political problems with this because if they put it inside the regular budget in their numbers, then the deficit will be out of control. And if Bush keeps it outside the, uh, the regular budget process, he'll def his deficit will seem much better. Yeah. How is that a deficit? We're spending the money either way. Yes. How do you give Bush credit? for doing accounting gimmicks that would land you in jail if you were in the private industry. And, uh, uh, and how does the New York Times go, well, Bush will seem better. No, Bush will seem like a jackass who's run the deficit out of control, but you are not putting those numbers into the what are what we're actually yeah. spending. Here's what Democrats can do about this when Bush gives his numbers. He's not counting the war! <laughs> yeah, come on, come on. This is outside. This is crazy. So the end, what they're going to do is they're going to look into... Who is getting the no-bid contracts? Why are they getting the no-bid contracts? And what are they spending the money on? You go get them, man. You go get them.